Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wayne County High School War Eagle Football with head coach Jack Hankins. Coach Hankins, man, it's good to see good you today. To see How you me. doing? Good to be seen. Doing great. Doing great. Just a little quick shot right here. People may notice where we're sitting. We're in a new film room. We are. That, uh, we believe in film studies, Marshall. And, uh, yeah, we're here. We'll, when we get it completely finished, we'll do some film and show them the front and the back, and mm -hmm. we'll show them around. And, uh We'll we'll put on our Facebook site a, a walk through of our field house. It'll be it'll be really neat. Cool. We're gonna look forward to that. Well, listen. Let's talk a little about your team a little bit. Now we've we, we're finished up our spring. We're in the summer. We're in this is uh, July. Let's look back in our spring and we had our ninth grade together. Next year's ninth grade for the first time. Right. You know, you had their practice and they had a game. Just tell us about a little bit about that team and what you see in them. Okay. Well, what we see in those guys. Uh, first of all, they're exciting. All anytime you have new guys to come up, that's always exciting. You, know, you get to put them together and gel them together from the from the feeder schools that we have here in the county. Uh, Marshall, there's not as many in that group. You know, I think my first year we had over 63, then we had 55. We're looking around 28 to 30 of those guys. There's not as many, uh, so we need to get those guys out. But they're, they're they have been small classes from their middle schools as well. So. But I tell you what they, they will do, they'll play hard and they'll play physical. Uh, we had a very good show in the, <laughs> in the spring game uh, against Meridian, and those guys play hard. You know, we got a lot of those guys that play both ways. Mm -hmm. And, man, that's a great time to develop those guys, and, and I look forward to that time. We get to do that during school, during third block, and we get to really develop those guys, and that's, that's a fun time. There's some horses in that bunch. There's too. some good players in yeah. that group. Uh, I hope going to be some big kids in that group. There's a good mixture of size and speed. Yeah. Uh, again, not a lot of numbers, but uh, you know, if you have the right ones, it, it really don't matter. But, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and most of those guys, I know with ninth graders, it's hard for them to get transportation at times to, to come to weights. But a lot of those guys have, have had a good summer and been very very committed. Uh, need more numbers though. We got to get got to get the folks shake them out and get get them back out here. As we move up to the varsity, you talk okay. about numbers. Uh, I think when you started your spring practice, you had what 104 or so, and wound up with like 95 or six. Yeah, well, we started we started with 107. I think we got it. We had a few more add-ons late there, but we ended up we ended up with 92 at the end of that. We're we're a few shy of that now, but uh, we've had a good summer and. Uh, you know, it's not been as hot, but now it's getting hotter. And I know <laughs> the dog days of summer, and I know August, it's not too far away. Anytime you get after July 4th, it goes very, very quickly. So uh, we're excited about that. The varsity guys have had a good summer so far. Well, let's turn our attention to the to the, to the the uh, the varsity. Uh, just a general view of those guys. Got a good number out, got a lot of people coming back. Just give us a quick general overview of your War Eagles as you prepare to head into the fall practice season about, you know, what you might have back, strengths and weaknesses as you see them so far. Sure, well, absolutely. We'll start with the defense side. You know, defense wins championships, right? Uh, you know, our strength should be our defensive line. Those guys have been with us now. This is their third year. A lot of them played as 10th graders, and I say been beat on as young guys, young pups. Uh, they're not the same young guys they were two years ago. We got a good group and we have depth there. And I, I really, really, I love our D-line. I, I love their attitude and their willingness to work. Uh, man, they, those guys come and get after it every single day. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the strength of our team because they have more experience than anybody else. Right. You know, weaknesses, you got to say linebacker. We graduated some good linebackers the last two years since I've been here. You know, um, we've got really one returning linebacker coming back next year. And uh, he does a great job. And, that's got to be the weakness. Secondary wise, you know, we, we've got a couple guys back that played, but then we got a couple corners that we've got to replace. So, you know, that weakness, yeah, strength possibly. So we've got to put those pieces together. You know, your secondary can be a whole lot better when those D linemen are, are bearing down <laughs> that quarterback. So <laughs> yeah. we, we hope that kind of offsets some of our issues. But uh, yeah. I'm excited about our defensive guys. They're, they're relentless, they pursue the football, they're very physical. Um, you look to the offensive side of the football, we've replaced really every one of our offensive linemen uh, from tackle to tackle. I'm excited about that. Everybody says, well, that's no experience. Well, a few of them played in some games. You know, some played more than others. Uh, a little bit of experience there. Definitely new faces, tackle to tackle. I'm excited about that. New tight ends. Um, you know, and, and that's that's nothing bad. I'm, I'm hoping – New is going to mean hungry, hungry to play for Wayne County, hungry to protect our tradition, 
and that's that's what we're excited about. Um, strength wise, obviously, it takes time for those guys to gel in pads, but I, I think we're getting we're, we're getting better every day with that. Um, strength, you know, you got to look at receiver. You know, you got we got Jalen back at receiver. He, he was a, a good good receiver for us last year, but we've got more pieces to that. And I tell everybody, you know, you can have the best receivers in the world, but if you don't block, you don't have time to throw the football. Mm -hmm. And so. You know, everything hinges on our offensive line. I, I make no bones about it. They are the most important people on the team. Our running back group should be – our running back room is, is really thick. And we're not real big, but we've got some experience. You know, we've got guys back that have two to three years' experience. Um, that's invaluable. Again, we, we can have Adrian Peterson back there at running back. If the offensive line don't block, you know, it's going to be a struggle. So, I, I, put, I, I put a lot of emphasis on our offensive line. Uh, again, they, they've got – they hold the key to our success. Um, at quarterback, we've had a good summer with uh, Jacob Bowles, and, and Sam's done a good job al along with two or three other younger guys. So, you know, everything's coming into play. It's kind of gelling and it's kind of meshing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not anywhere where we want to be. I don't know if uh, any coach in America will tell you they're where they want to be. We're always improving. And, and our guys have had a good work ethic and good attitude and, uh, you know, with the offensive side of the ball, and, and they know what we're we're still putting in, and we're still installing and getting things going. But uh, special team wise, Kyle, Kyle comes back as our kicker. We should be good on the kickoff field goal, extra points. That should be solid. Uh, punter right now, we we really don't know. We we I think we have tryouts every day for who's going to be the punter. So <laughs> we're looking at you know who's going to be the punter. But return guys, you know we're Wayne County. We're going to always have guys that can return the football and. Uh, we're, we're going to be better at special teams this year. It's been a huge, huge point of emphasis for our staff and for our team this summer. So, man, we're excited. We're um, again, we're working every day to to get to, man, where we where we want to be. This team, and I've noticed it uh, in the spring. This team's a little, a little nasty. I mean, you know, what I'm talking about they they have uh, they're physical, a little more physical, you know. And I mean, we're knocking people down. Uh, the offensive line, I've seen them going to the next level, you know, so I'm excited too. And, I mean, you see it all. Yeah, but, uh, I'm excited. We just have to wait till the time gets that, here. It's right. coming. <laughs> so let's, let's just split right quick to the summer. I mean, camps, workouts, seven on seven. Kind of just a quick overview of what's going to happen July. Okay. Know. Well, we, as we get into July, so so Marshall, June is really a hard time. We, we hit the weights hard, really pound the weights. Um we don't do a ton of competition with other teams in June. I, in our philosophy, we don't. You know, we don't want to get them ready to win the state championship June 1st, if you know what I mean. Because football season is long. 15 weeks is a long time, mm -hmm. and you got to be careful not to burn them out. As we move into July, you get out and you do – we do more competitions. Uh, as we get into this July, we got a seven-on-seven seven pretty much every week with another team. We start this week uh, – you know, we'll be hosting Murphy High School out of Mobile, Alabama, one of the biggest schools in Alabama. They'll be coming over, and we'll do a 7-on-7 seven seven in the morning with those guys. So every week we're trying to have a 7-on-7 seven seven set up for our guys to compete with. Um, I'll be the first to tell you, I really don't like them a whole lot. They're great for conditioning, great for covering. But you know as well as I do, 7-on-7 seven seven is not real football. Real football is 11-on-11 11 11 with a hand in the dirt with those linemen going. Mm -hmm. So we'll still do our share of the 7-on-7s, seven seven, but you won't see us going and doing it you know, 15 or 20 a year. We're going to do a few, and, I, and yeah. that's it, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's turn our attention now, just a quick overview of our coaching staff. I mean, okay. uh, we, we, I think we've lost a couple maybe. Uh, we're, sure. We're, we're just talking about your coach staff for a minute, just however, what you think you need to say. Okay, well, we, we've got a great group. Uh, mm -hmm. Got a great experienced group. Got some group that's um, experienced and been around, and we've got some young guys coming in, so mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an awesome group. Uh, Coach McCann will be be leading our defense for us this year. Um, he's done it before. He'll do it again. He'll he'll do a great job with that. Coach Luker is new to us this year. He's coming uh, over from Alabama and he's as a head coach won six state championships in the Hall of Fame. So he's going to help with our secondary. And Coach Booth returns with our defensive line. So you know you'll see a new face. Coach Luker will be new on that side of the ball. Um, offensively, you still got Coach Taylor and Coach Coaston that's helping do our offensive line. Um, Coach Moore is probably going to handle our receivers this year, and uh, we're going to hire probably a, a new guy to do our running back position. Mm -hmm. um, not to be named just yet, yeah. but, uh, you know, I'm still working with our quarterback. So, we, you know, we, we've got a great group. We've got a young group. We've got some guys with experience in there, and 
And let me tell you, here's the most important thing. We got a group that loves kids. And there you the go. Most, that's the most important thing. You know, we, we can coach all the football you want, but if you don't care about kids, it's not going to matter. So, yeah. uh, we, we got a good group of men in here to, to lead our guys, and that's 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 what I'm more excited about. Yeah. Uh, as we get closer to season, I mean, you've got a you probably you, you mentioned you're doing the seven on sevens. Are we going to have a the season starts on the 24th? Uh, we're going to have a preseason game with Harrison Central. That's right. We'll do it a week before on the okay. 17th, okay. Um, and it'll be here. It'll be here at home, and uh, you know, and, and the Friday before that. We're trying. We're in the early stages of putting together a meet the War Eagles, where okay. we come out on the field and meet the War Eagles, and we're gonna have our scrimmage in. And Marshall, we're gonna uh, display our new lights. We've got the new LED lights and light show going. And uh, you know, we'd like to invite everybody to come out see that. And the uh, date and time? We're gonna start it. We're gonna start around six o'clock with with the introduction of the football players, and that's uh, you know ballparking right now because we're just gonna get it get it going. And uh, you know, Couple you'll of meet weeks. The cheerleaders. Sir? When's the date on that? It's going to be the 11th. It's okay. going to be the 11th. That's on a Friday night. August the 11th. August 11th. Okay. That's on a Friday night. And okay. uh, I think we're going to also have an auction in here with some neat items that Paul Keene and newspapers helped put together, uh, some season tickets, some hotel packages, some great auction item stuff. And we'll be getting on, and we'll be sharing more details about that later too. But um, it's going to be a good night for, for War Eagles to come out and get to scrimmage and go full pad for – Really, when you get after the eleventh, the season gets. I mean, it's it's here, man. So we're playing football. We're playing a game next month. We're playing football. It's, it's here. here. It's here before we know it. All right, coach. We appreciate you. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for taking your time out of your schedule to bring us up to speed on War Eagle football. Uh, we'll see you next time for more of it. But for now, we're out. We're out. War Eagle. War Eagle, baby.